Today I'm gonna to give you some ideas of what you could do this fall break to maybe get you guys out of the house and some things that you can do if you wanna stay home. Let's get started right now. Hi, I'm Angela Duong with Coldwell Banker Tugar Realtors and MadHomeJuta.com. And if this is your first time to our channel, please go ahead and click the subscribe button down below. Fall break is coming up and the kids get out of school early this week. In our area, they're off Thursday and Friday, giving them a four day weekend. So what are your plans this fall break? One of the things you could do this fall break is go visit a haunted house. A few that I would suggest would be the Haunted Hollow. It is 13 acres of haunted forest, and it's located at 1550 South, 1900 West in Ogden. Another one would be Fear Factory. It's made up of six buildings and is a massive haunted attraction located at 666 West, 800 South in Salt Lake City. It was actually ranked number three on BuzzFeed.com, and it is one of the top 10 in the U.S. on USA Today and the Chat Travel Channel. Another one you might want to try is Nightmare on 13. It is one of the largest and long-running haunted house attractions in a 36,000 square foot warehouse located at 300 West, 1300 South in Salt Lake City. If haunted houses aren't your thing, maybe you'll enjoy a corn maze. The Old Farm Corn Maze is actually local, located over in the Tremont and Elwood area at 9595 North, 4400 West. One of the corn mazes that we go to almost every year is Black Island Farms. It's located at 2075 South, 4000 West in Syracuse. Black Island Farms has a three-phase, 16-acre corn maze, and for the brave, there's also a four-acre haunted corn maze. There's also a courtyard of fun-filled activities with a giant slide, straw mount, and many other things that you can do with your kids. Uh, you can visit their website at blackislandfarms.com. If you're looking for a corn maze over in the Cache Valley area, you may want to check out the American West Heritage Center. They have a corn maze, a pumpkin patch, bounce house, giant connect four, and more activities for you to do. They have a few go they have a few other activities going on as well this week and the weekend, so check out their website at AWHC. Dot org to find out more. If you love Lagoon during the summertime and you love Halloween, Frightmares is the place to go. Go visit Frightmares at Lagoon. It started early in September and goes all the way through October. They have over nine haunted attractions and of course they have the rides for you to still ride. Um, summer and the haunted attractions are summer kid friendly, some are scary, but they tell you up front what the scare factor is for each thing. So if you go visit lagoonpark.com, you can find out more about the attractions that they have during this time of the year. Another thing to do this weekend is go to the movies. The animated Adams Family is out in theaters now, so great time for Halloween and to check out the animated version of the Adams Family. We hope to do that this weekend as well. There are many folks that don't want to go out during the fall break and just want to hang out at home and have a nice peaceful four-day weekend. Well, let me give you some ideas of what you could do to stay at home during the fall break. Host a bonfire with family and friends or just you guys at home and enjoy some roasted marshmallows and s'mores while you're hanging out around the fire. Carve pumpkins. You can either carve them or paint them. Painting them would make it to where the pumpkins last longer. Carving them you would be able to go ahead and put a light inside and they'd be completely ready for Halloween to light up your stairway. Enjoy fall treats. Make yourself some carameled apples or a pumpkin pie. Uh, the easiest way I do that, I know you could buy store-bought, but if you just go get the Pillsbury pie crusts and then follow the directions on the pumpkin pie for on the Libby's can, the pumpkin pie is great and it's so yummy during this time of season. So go make yourself some yummy pumpkin treats. And last but not least, because there's plenty of things you could be doing, just get cozy and binge watch Halloween movies on Hulu or Netflix, because who doesn't love binge watching on Hulu or Netflix? I am a fan. Well, I hope you enjoyed that list of things that you can do this fall break and enjoy some time with the family and friends. Let me know in the comments what your plans are and if it's something else that you're going to do that I haven't included. Or if you're doing some of the things that I didn't include, let me know in the comments. Remember to subscribe down below to be notified of future videos on our channel. And we look forward to seeing you on the next one. Talk to you soon.